happened? What happened? I need to have six. Is it okay? Okay, mommy. Well, no, I have to help you. Little ray of sunshine. I brought my computer home. Babe, how are you feeling? I feel like crap. Literally. Where are you going? To the office? Yes. What are you gonna do? My office home from office. What are you gonna do? I'm going to dispose of liquids. From where? My rectum. <laughs> Yes, mis amigos, shimmy, 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 shimmy. Today, everyone is sick. Todos está enfermo. First, it didn't really start with me, but I had to also eat, uh, visit the office a few days ago. But that was it. Then this little pal right here, he had to visit the office. He did a little, little boopy. Yes, you did. All the time, it was like liquid green. Disgusting. And then Buddha. AKA Richard Balboa. Rocky. Uh, oh, Rocky Balboa. Balboa. Whatever, whatever. Started to throw up. Remember, mommy? And then this man started to vomit and. Dispose of waste from my rectum. Must we use the rectum word? Must we neglect? <laughs> and then. We had this child wake up with Farrah Abram lips. <laughs> spider. What happened, mommy? I'm gonna marry and kiss it and kiss it and lick it and eat it. Alright, let me see you kiss the spider. She's licking it. Oh, and now she's eating it. Whoa! It's like magic! And so here. I love when there's steroids in my fresas. No stretch. If you're happy, if you're happy, just me. If you're happy, if you're happy, just me. If you enunciate. If you're happy, if you're happy, just me. If you're happy, if you're happy, just me. If you're happy, if you're happy, just me. Ricky Balboa trying to read. Living with Ricky Bubble, huh? Hey, Ricky Bubble. And, and guys, look at me. There's new for everyone in there swimming at the penguin pool. Buddha made a pool for all the pets and a swimming pool in the middle. Looks like dead bodies and animals that have eaten them. No. Oh. They're, well. just, they're just alive. Oh, they're alive? Oh, Saturday we went to a Nintendo event to see and play with the Nintendo Switch. So hopefully you guys saw that video. It was yesterday. We did a review on it. Um, we had a lot of fun. Me and Buddha were dancing to some stupid Halloween song that she picked out. Never heard the song. She barely danced. I look like a dang on fool, but it was fun. <laughs> yeah, and I just uh, yeah, and I just picked a Halloween. I like it so scary. You should go there and pick some. What you want? What are you gonna pick? Halloween like me, good job. You're the best, guys. <laughs> and Buddha vlogged this weekend too, as you guys saw. She took Boy Toy's phone, was vlogging. She took her mirror and was vlogging. So then Saturday night after we got home from the Nintendo event, she was tired, she was sleeping on the train and farting on the train. She used to want to go to sleep. So she went to sleep, we got her ready for bed, she went to sleep. And then I hear her crying, so I go in there, I'm like, what? And you see it here on Instagram. Stop. 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 Stop.
Yeah. What jumped? <gasps> Babe, she threw up. Oh my god. All over herself, and she threw up about 10 more times, 11 more times after that. And I do it on Pippi and and uh, and Tampons and my pillow and uh, Georgia and all my things. She threw up on everything. And then boy took us to yesterday night and he was throwing up and on the poopy and hot mess y'all hot mess hot mess. Hopefully today's a better day. He didn't go to work. He's working from home because. I mean, he's throwing up. You can't go to work when you're throwing up, y'all. Sauvignon Blanc Merle by Kim Ford. First time cooking with wine, guys. Oh, kind of strong. Ooh, wait, hold on. Smells kind of delicious, too. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna cook with wine, and I never understood how cooking with wine tastes good. Like, do you get drunk? Obviously not, because alcohol burns off, but still. Still. Clean and sanitize your fermenter along with a spoon, thermometer, hydrometer, and teeth. Wanted to know how to make wine. This is what it's supposed to look like. I don't see no yellow. I guess it does look a little yellow. Does my plate look how pretty? This boy toys with some cucumber on the side. Babe, tell me not. It looks Divine! It looks, this looks okay, it looks good. I just hope it settles in my stomach correctly. Oh. <laughs> well, we just have to find out now, don't we? I guess uh, it's true that when you're sick, you should be having bland foods. Nothing better than the remedy of Betsy V's cooking. First uh, test, the smell test. It smells good. I like the, uh, the aroma that it puts off. The second test is the texture test, where you just take a bite. And uh, you don't eat your tongue. Mmm. Nice and juicy, babe. Okay, now eat it. Uh, final test is the taste test. Bad. I was a little afraid that you're gonna put too much garlic in there, but there's a nice amount of garlic. Taste the wine. Um. Yeah, it's not a bad dish. You can taste the dill in there too. One out of ten. Probably one out of ten. I do like a. I saw like eight, not eight point nine. Really? From you, yeah. What? From me? <laughs> so, so don't burn this recipe out. Use it maybe once every three weeks, four weeks. <laughs> this is so good, and I tried it with Wonder Bread, and you did, so I try it. <laughs> Wonder Bread. So good. It's so uh, tasty. And you should try with pickles too. Uh, it's so good. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. I have to sit on the floor like a peasant because boy should want to offer his seat up. So. The lie. It's good. It's not bad. Oh wow. Guys, I will leave the link to this recipe on my Pinterest. Dinners I've made and liked. That's the best of me. Check it out. Check it out. Oh. Hey. Oh, thank you, baby. Come on, now, but, but, but mommy, you have a belly and I see it. See, no, she's faking. Daddy hurt me on my stomach. She's faking. Oh. oh, my back. Oh, my back. Mommy, help me. Thank you, mommy. Help me. Okay, I'll uh, help you. No, no, daddy hurt me. Why would you help him? Oh, no, no, no. So daddy oh. hurt me. Yes. Oh, no, daddy hurt oh, me. You're the best God in the world. That way. Oh, 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 my. It's so much. Oh. Oh, he's still with him. He's still with him. Oh, oh, baby, thank, thank you. you. Oh, it thank hurts. you, mommy. Oh, Hello. oh, oh, thank you. Ah, oh. ow, ow, ow. You saw him get sick, right? I know. <laughs> She's a super woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what a good baby. <laughs> this thing's not cutting. First time on the wheels. First time on the wheels. <laughs> Yeah, baby, go. <laughs> a box inside of a box. I didn't know Anthony was sending us anything. <laughs> Y'all, it's a GoPro. Are you not happy that we got a GoPro? Yeah, he wants to yell back. Why are you yelling, bro? <laughs> yeah, my box. Yeah, my box. My box, yeah. You mad you don't have a box? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my box. <laughs> and everyone.
one thinks you're an easy baby. My box. <laughs> In my dream now. Go for it. Last night. Oh no no no. Last week I had a dream. I'm surprised I still remember it. Not that clearly, but we were at a bar or something. It was like a celebration going on. I think his family was there, my family was there, and he freaking proposed to me. He proposed to me, babe. At a bar? Yeah, you took advantage of it because everyone was there, like all our families and friends were there. So he took advantage and I started crying and I was like, no. Or I found out that you were gonna propose to me or something like that, and I was like, no. You always, I said no to you. Like I was told, I was like, I can't believe you proposed to me at a bar. I was like embarrassed, and it was just, I, I, you know, I was like, I'm going to say no. Don't propose to me. I was so pissed off and crying. I was in the bathroom crying. I was like, I can't believe. Why are you so fancy? It should, it doesn't matter where I do it. It does matter where. Oh my god, he was just talking. We were just talking about it. He's like, tell him what you told me. That's what you get. Tell him what you told me. Six years we've been together. Six stinking years. In March. Two kids and no ring. Who's doing it right? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yep. But then I was like, wait a minute. Now he's talking. Why are you talking about marriage out of all, out of out of nowhere? I'm like, are you gonna propose to me? And then I started getting scared. I was like, I hope he doesn't propose. But then I wanted to propose. Like, uh, like you don't understand. I am so scared of commitment. But it's like you're already committed with two kids. I don't know, it's weird. Like every relationship I had before him, like when guys were serious with me, I would sabotage it. Like I always sabotage And they were like really good guys. I would have given me everything. But I always sabotaged it because I was so scared of commitment. And that still hasn't changed. I'm so scared of commitment. I'm not like all, oh, all lovey dovey. He's like, oh, the love of my life. I'm not like that. And it bothers him sometimes because that's what he, he wants. I'm just like, Icebox, ice, my heart is an icebox. Oh, Would you say that? Icebox where my heart used to be. Icebox where my heart used to be. Sometimes not though. A lot of times not. I don't know, I'm a good person. I didn't say you were. <laughs> well, yeah, Miss Amigos are calling it a night. The Hero Te Matadora. We shall see you mañana. So everyone is still sick? Yeah, kind of. Still everyone is still kind of sick. We did some marriage talk. You guys are always asking us when you're gonna get married. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Even when he proposes to me, we're not gonna get married. I just want the ring. That's what I want. They go around. It's like he got what he wanted, but he still complained. He had me, he still complained. Um, but yeah, that's it. Well, yeah. Thank you so much. And we shall see you. Manana. Manana! Word of the day is. Canoodle. Ooh. How the hell did you spell canoodle? Okay, what else? I'll just be doing.